our final one in the sequence, and we've been building up to this, is uh, Buffalo Hunt by Walker. And this was a mid-1800s painting too. And this is pretty complex. But let's start on the right with the buffalo. Because you'll recognize the different elements of that, mm -hmm. I believe. He's very close. Yep. Because it's very thick and his features are very, very, did, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very. Pronounced? Distinct, yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. So, and and also, how close is he to the bottom of the picture plane? He is pretty close. Yeah. Like about so that, that, remember to judge that too. That's mm -hmm. why I like to keep the picture square to you mm -hmm. on the table, is so that you're able to judge those distances accurately. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So you're right about the uh, detail, and he is close. And can you tell what he's doing? Look at his feet and see what you think. Looks like he's running. Yes, he sure is. So, um, you can tell his tail's up. Can you feel his mouth? His, his mouth. The, the, here's his, yeah, right there. Here. Yeah. And he's got his tongue he's, hanging out. He's <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> at least his tongue is hanging out. Okay, now, why he's running is the... Uh, Native American on horseback to the left. So, this that whole object there is a Native American on horseback. Okay. Okay. So, this so now is you a Native American with the feathers. Yes, exactly. So you see his face. Mm, I do. Mm -hmm. Now, can you um, look at the horse a little bit and just see what he's doing? You can feel his. He's got his head down. Mm -hmm. He's grazing it. No. Like. no, look at the legs. He's also running. Yes, now look at the back legs. Do you want to use both hands? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and look at his tail. That'll give you an indication, yeah. too. He's running. He's, I feel like it looks more like a gallop. Yes, yes, he certainly is galloping. He's going full tilt. Now, I'd like you to go up to the Native American's face and come down and trail down both his arms. Use, you know, one finger for one arm and one finger for the other arm. And figure out where his arms are going. His, is this his arm bent? Yes. So he's kind of like this? Yes. Um, do it a little bit. See how high his arm is? Yes. Okay. So he's got one arm straight out in front of him. Mm -hmm. And one arm bent back up by his, almost by his uh, chin, right? Mm -hmm. Can you do that position? Well, kind of go like this, maybe, kind of like... No, one arm straight out. One arm straight out. Like if you were doing one. this, if you were doing this, what would you be doing? I would be like, like I want to fight. A fight? Okay. Yeah. Look at what he's got in his hand. Is it a... Right here. Oh, hey. Is it a bow and arrow? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, kind of like fighting, but with a bow and arrow. Yeah. <laughs> That's very aggressive. So he has just let go of the arrow. It's gone. Okay. Okay. So his his hand has let go of the string. Uh -huh. It's no longer holding it. And the arrow has gone. But look at why, where he's pointed. He's pointed towards the buffalo. Yes. So follow that arc. If he let that that arrow go. Follow the arc right along. Get in line with his two hands. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna touch your hand, okay? Sure. Okay. We want to go right in this arc. Okay? Oh, you kind of made a little bit of a distinction of it too with the line. I kind of felt a line maybe it looks it, there's not yeah that's background. Oh, okay. You just have to sort of ignore that and go follow yeah, line. and you he found something. He's trying to shoot the buffalo. Well, it looks like he's going to succeed. <laughs> he did succeed, didn't he? <laughs> Feels rather graphic, doesn't it? Yes. It's, uh, it's uh, real visceral <laughs> when you feel that arrow going into the side of your neck. Now, is this little line I feel below the arrow, is it the background or oh. is it depicting oh. the flight of the... Okay, this right here is the, uh, are the feathers. I forget what they call those on the back of the arrow. Uh-huh. And then this is the shaft. 
And then this is the opening of the wound where it oh. appears the side of the buffalo. Oh. Mm. Okay, yeah, now yeah. I understand that. Yeah, and now you know why his tongue's hanging out. Mm -hmm. So, what we've got here is it is a buffalo, and so a buffalo hunt. And they year after year they come to the buffalo at the hunting grounds, you know? Okay. So what do you think this might be, if you want to do a guess, or else I can just tell you. This is... Think about it, year after year they're coming back here. A, uh, what's that, some kind of a fossil here. Well, right, close. Mm -hmm. What would be the left behind each year? You aren't going to make fossils within oh, a year. the buffalo parts of the buffalo? Yeah, the skull, the skull. Oh, yeah, so that's yeah. a skull. It's and very intense. And here's a rib, maybe? Oh, no. <laughs> no. This is pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. it's very intense. Um, yes, and you know, as she's doing this, I'm getting pictures, and I can imagine this happens with using a visual. Um, I'm getting pictures in my mind, which is what art does for me. Cool. Okay, so there's a number of bones in the, or left around. Yep. Yeah. Now, in the background, we have hills... They build up, you can see the, you can feel the hill lines, you know, that are going back into the distance. Mm -hmm. So that's one, and then go up, there's another one. Mm -hmm. And go, you can find the horizon line right They're up. getting taller. Yeah. Now, one of the things I'd like you to notice is right over here. Do you feel that? Yeah, it feels not as smooth. Right, as right. So that is in the background. There's, this is the buffalo hunt, so there's always a big herd, you mm -hmm. know? And they're thundering across the prairie. Okay. So what might this be? Um, just the buffaloes in the way back, you're depicting that they're running. Well, they're the up at, here's our, here's our um, horizon down here a little bit. Mm -hmm. So this is up in the air. Oh, is this a storm? It's like, it's like a storm of dust. Oh. It's the, all the dust of the... Buffalo have kicked up into the air, okay. so that's what you're feeling. This whole dusty uh, cloud that's up above where the bu buffalo are running. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things I'd like to point out is Walker was also working with limited amount of um, uh, reference material, mm -hmm. and uh, this horse, a horse does not run like this. It, this is the way a rabbit runs. Yeah with the feet, the back feet uh, stretched out and the front feet stretched forward. Right. A rabbit runs like that, a horse does not. So, so um, it was his interpretation. It is, you had. know, yeah. yes, it's what he was able to capture and without, you know, a still photography. In fact, one of the first uses of photography was to, uh, the, this guy um, set up a number of cameras mm -hmm. and had them go off in a sequence so that he could capture the, the, the gait of a horse and see how it was that um, the horse actually runs. That was one of the first uses of... Um, oh, that's good to know. Yeah, I know. It was pretty... It was a historic... Uh, rather historic uh, use of the camera. It was, And they figured that out because they wanted, you know, they used uh, to bet on a horses a lot. Okay. So it was trying to figure out how to get horses to run faster. <laughs> so, Interesting. Yeah, information is always it. Very nice. So, any questions about this guy? He's got, there's a lot going on with his, um, you know, his shoes and his, the, the very done in panoramic so you can get the fill for a whole landscape um, that's very helpful the shapes of the actual whole framing um, it's just got so much detail I feel like I could just sit here after the presentation and study this which is very helpful too yeah. if you kind of give the person time to have their own quiet time to review it just run their hands where they want and ask questions. You know, that just helps with the whole, um, whole 
taking in of what's going on, especially I feel like with more intense pictures like this one. Mm -hmm. You just kind of got to absorb it, absorb it a lot of times. And that's true. You know, there's a lot of times where you might have somebody who, it might be the most they can do to get through one picture. Mm -hmm. And that's good. That's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, if they have a good time one time with one picture, they're more likely to come back and try Let's another one more. later on. And once they build up some skills, they'll be able to go much faster like Melissa here. Mm -hmm. You know, this is very fast. Uh, a lot of times, most times, you're going to run into people who just take more time to figure stuff out. And that's just the way it is. Like I said, um, for sighted people, just really try to interpret it that you, the way you use your eyes, visually impaired or blind people use their hands. So try to make the connection there. And I think that will really help you be successful in your docent activities. Thank you, ladies.